Hi everyone, Knupsi here. Last week I flew out on a trip to Germany, more specifically Munich, the farthest I've ever traveled and the first time I've traveled in pretty much the last two years to check out Mercedes' brand new electric lineup of vehicles and attend the IAA. And this video is a look at what I brought with me in my everyday carry and travel bag, as well as a look back at the trip itself. Okay, so first, the main bag I brought with me is from Bellroy. This is their Weekender 30L in the lunar color. This bag was my sidekick the entire trip. I had to carry quite a bit of stuff with me from documents, my passport, tech, clothes, cash, personal hygiene stuff. There was a lot of stuff to bring along, and this bag was an absolute lifesaver for organization, and it also looks great while being incredibly functional. It's made of a water-resistant woven fabric, there are leather straps as well as a comfortable shoulder strap, which can also be removed as well. And when it comes to storage, this bag is deceivingly spacious. There are so many pockets in this thing. I was able to fit everything I mentioned perfectly inside. In the main compartment, there's a large center space for storage, two side areas for water bottles, and three more pockets for small items and other essentials. At the front, another large pocket. At the back, another, another large pocket. Small pockets and a specific area to actually put a laptop. It's padded, it's protected, and while I just brought my iPad Pro on this trip, it can fit up to a 13-inch laptop no problem. I brought along the new 2021 11-inch iPad Pro with iPad OS 15 and the white Magic Keyboard as well as, of course, the Apple Pencil. I really didn't want to carry around and bring my whole laptop on the trip, so I chose my iPad, and it was a perfect choice. Great for all the stuff I did on the plane, and when I got to my hotel, it was an excellent decision. Using Affinity Photo on the iPad, I was able to actually finish up a thumbnail I was working on at the time, make edits to photos I took on the trip, and watch a lot of shows on the long plane rides. I didn't have to even charge the iPad once on the whole trip. The battery life is stellar on this thing. I had to charge it when I got home, obviously, but it lasted my entire adventure for all the things I did, no problem. Also for tech, I brought the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's still my favorite phone for taking photos and videos, as well as the Apple Watch Series 4. Yes, I still haven't upgraded, this thing is perfectly fine, maybe the Series 7 though. And using one of the Apple Watch dual clock faces, it was great to keep track of the time at home, as well as the local time in Munich. Now for earbuds, I brought along the brand new Jaybird Vista 2s. I really enjoy the Vista 1s, especially for running, but these take everything to the next level. They have solid noise cancelling, a very secure fit for exercise or just casual listening, they have wireless charging, a more refined design, they sound excellent, I love these things. And having a pair of earbuds that's good for more hardcore activity, as well as just casual listening, is awesome. I was whipping around Munich on those electric scooter things that I still don't really like so much, but they were kind of fun, and I had these earbuds in and they stayed in no problem, they weren't coming loose at all, it was great. And of course, charging is a pretty big deal, so I brought along this charger from Satechi. It has three USB-C ports, foldable prongs, and charges up to 108 watts, so it's crazy fast, and uses GAN or GAN technology to deliver these super fast speeds in this compact form factor. It was perfect. I paired it up with this European outlet adapter from Tesson. Nothing too special, it has two USB-A ports and of course the outlet, and it worked fine throughout my trip. For charging the Apple Watch and the earbuds, I brought along this Satechi USB-C dual wireless charger. It has one Apple Watch side and one AirPod side, but the Vista is still charged up perfectly fine on this AirPod specific side, no problem there. It's such a weird piece of tech, but I didn't have to bring along an Apple Watch charging cable, so I was happy. For the iPhone, I brought along three MagSafe Qi wireless charging batteries. The official Apple one, which is decent, this new RAV Power 5000mAh one, and this Anchor 5000mAh unit. I was using my phone quite a bit on this trip for taking photos and videos, Google Maps, data, and I need to have battery life the entire time, so just slapping these things on, switching them out, I had battery life the whole trip no problem. I also brought along my spring-loaded metal wallet from Amazon that I paid like $9 for, I've used it for a few years, it's great, and I stuck on one of these tile credit card trackers on the back so I can keep track of my wallet if I lose it nearby. I have my keys on this Orbit key system with some of the attachments like the bottle opener which was incredibly helpful on this trip, and I also brought along this iPod which may or may not have had all my passwords on it for everything in the notes section, but I'll never tell. 
For all of my small items that I had to carry around all the time, I had them in this Bellroy City Pouch Plus. I'm a big fan of the original City Pouch, and this is just a larger upgraded version, and it was perfect to carry along all my essentials with me. Of course, I had to bring along a hairdryer as well, so I chose this Revlon foldable one. It has the dual voltage feature, directional head, and it was like $19, it folds up super compact, perfect for the trip. I had a few meetings, gatherings, and shows to go to, so I brought along three different outfits. The first one is kind of this all black fit with an Ugg Monk black tee, Dickies Eisenhower jacket, Uniqlo pants, and black Doc Martens. Second, this much lighter, more cream color outfit with an oversized Uniqlo pocket tee, Uniqlo painter pants, and the New Balance 550s in yellow. Probably my favorite shoes ever. And third, this vintage Patagonia turquoise fleece, Uniqlo pleated wool pants from a few seasons ago, and these Converse Chuck 70s in the parchment or off-white color. So that's what I brought with me on the trip. It sounds like a lot of stuff, but I used everything here at least once during my three days in Munich. So let's talk about the trip itself. So as I mentioned in the intro, Mercedes-Benz flew me out to attend their huge electric vehicle launch for the EQS, EQE, Concept Maybach, Concept G-Wagon, and more. As well as attend the IAA, check out their booth, meet some of the Mercedes executives, and take in the German culture, which was wonderful. Wunderbar. I took a lot of photos and videos of the beautiful new vehicles, and I also had a chance to sit in on one of the test drives for the EQS, and it was a wild experience. The car is stunning, both outside and inside, and the ride experience is insanely beautiful and comfortable. The car is so smooth, it feels luxurious, and we whipped this thing on the Autobahn at like top speed. It was crazy. I was just chilling in the back seat, taking all the beautiful scenery. The speaker sounded great. There was two tablet screens, a removable mini tablet. It was a wonderful experience. It took Mercedes a minute to dive into the electric world, but it was well worth the wait. They have an incredible lineup of electric vehicles, and the future looks pretty bright. I also spent quite a bit of time roaming the streets of Munich, taking in the city, the sights, the sounds, the eats, the drinks. It was beautiful. So this trip was really eye-opening. The first time traveling in almost two years, and it was well worth the wait. I'm also glad I was able to bring you along with me on the trip, film as much as I possibly could, and it was an experience I will never forget, and a huge thanks to Mercedes once again for sending me out there to check out their stuff, and just have a good time. I'll leave links in the description to all the items I brought with me if you're interested in buying any of them for yourself, as well as links to the rest of my coverage from Mercedes-Benz electric lineup that they unveiled. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.